Hi, I'm Annie West from Westerly Design and I'm just going to introduce to you to our mini spin effects tools. There are 12 spin effects in our range and those spin effects have come traditionally in a 3.5, 5.5 and an 11.5 inch size. We now have them available in our 1.5 and 2.5 inch size. These small tools are great for filling in those small spaces. I often have people who have made quilts where they've got two inch blocks and the quilt is made up of a lot of two inch blocks and they want something different to be quilted in each of those. Or they're working with a two inch border and they want a small spin effect style border to put in there. So this is our little one and a half inch one and this is our two and a half. And when they sew out it measures two and a half inches when we've sewn the completed eight rotation pattern so it's two and a half inches from top to bottom and side to side and this piece measures smaller than that because we're using two to make that completed size so to start with I'm going to use our crosshair ruler to mark my spin effects in I'm going to show you how to use this template in a couple of ways. I'll sew the two and a half inch one and the one and a half inch one. I've just marked and sewn a three inch square grid pattern. I'm going to use our mini crosshair ruler to mark in my reference lines. In this block I want to mark in six lines. I'm just lining up my three inch lines with my stitched line and just using a Chaco marker I'm just going to put those six lines in and my markings are done. On our tools we have a number of reference lines. The line that runs across here and here is where our stitch will end so we can use that if we want to put it on a border and run it across the border to make sure it touches in the same place. We also have half inch lines marked across the base and that way we can use this template to sew one, stop, stitch across half an inch and we can use that to locate the point of where we sewed the first one. St sew that one, stitch across half, half an inch. So these are giving us a guide for doing that. This template is the same from top to bottom but if we were using our spin effects number five, which we'll talk about later, this is a different shape from one end to the other. So we can actually use both ends of that. This is the line that we're referencing to, and this is the line at the top. And we can create a pattern that works from that way and spins on this point, or we can do it spinning from this point. So this template actually gives us four different base designs.